Hi everyone and welcome to part two in a series of videos that I'm creating. My name is Z and a little while back I posted up a article on Medium that uh, covers the topic of customer lifetime value and this is a concept that comes from marketing analytics and it relates to uh, how you put a valuation against customer relationships and how you make predictions about customer purchasing behaviors. And it does it using uh, a technique called buy to you die modeling and uh, implements it in uh, Python via a library called PyMC Marketing. There is a link to the article down in the description uh, that also includes the Python notebook that you can follow along. And in the previous video, I covered the uh, the theory behind buy to you die modeling. Uh, for today's video, we're going to be talking about how uh, Pi MC marketing works under the hood. Um, so it is a very specific uh, approach to problem solving that uses Bayesian methods. Uh, and uh, fair warning, this video will have some math in it. Uh, so you, if you don't like this kind of thing, you can in fact actually skip forward to just the Python code. But uh, I find that it's quite useful to understand uh, how these things actually work. But at the same time, much like how you don't need to know uh, the way that cellular networks work in order to place a call on your cell phone, uh, you can actually just jump straight into the coding later. Um, so having said that, let's start with the first question. What the heck? is Bayesian inference. Um, so in traditional machine learning, uh, say like uh, you're trying to fit a uh, linear regression against a bunch of dots, uh, you normally have a single estimate of each attribute and the attribute could be regression coefficients for linear regression. Uh, and you do this by trying to minimize, uh, minimizing errors. Now uh, in a Bayesian approach, uh, it is a bit different. And the word base comes from this gentleman over here, Thomas Reverend Bayes, uh, Reverend Thomas Bayes, I'm sorry. Uh, and he came up with something called Bayes theory. Uh, and the uh, equation, uh, I might need to break it down, says that there is uh, an underlying distribution that you don't quite know, but uh, there is a uh, observation that's been made uh, from that distribution. So they call it the likelihood. Uh, and you have some assumption that the uh, distribution behaves in a certain way. And that's called a prior. And uh, the what you are interested in sometimes is uh, the posterior. Uh, what is the correctness of the uh, your assumption given the data that you see, uh, loosely speaking? Now, uh, this sounds complicated, but uh, maybe we can represent it visually. So uh, if you are measuring something, you will probably have a set of observations. Uh, and your prior, which is the assumptions you make about how these uh, observations behave, uh, may take the form of some sort of distribution here. It's just a normal curve. Uh, and you are trying to understand uh, how do I update this green uh, distribution, knowing that what I see is this orange distribution. Now, uh, the math that's involved is that you actually convert this px, which is uh, quite hard to actually solve analytically, uh, into a form called a marginal distribution. And uh, this is a bit like uh, slicing up that uh, px into smaller strips, uh, but integrating it. So. Uh, uh, the mathematical correct way to say it is uh, it, it, this equation or this portion of the equation gives the probabilities of the various values of the variables in the subset, but it doesn't reference the values of the other variables. So uh, what you uh, have essentially uh, done, if you rewrite the equation this way, is that you're able to in essence, strike out this bottom portion because uh, if this is integrated over all values of theta, uh, you find that uh, the, the marginal density can be kind of ignored in the above equation and it simplifies to just having the posterior depend on likelihood and prior in a proportionate manner. So you uh, end up with a uh, equation where you've got the posterior being proportional to the likelihood and the prior. And that helps because uh, now you've got the orange and the green 
and you can derive the purple. And the purple is the thing that allows you to make predictions against new data that uh, you've never seen before because you've got an updated set of assumptions based on your earlier uh, observations, which becomes kind of your training data. So that's how Bayesian inference works. Uh, and the second component of uh, what drives Pi MC marketing is uh, the MC portion itself. And that stands for Markov Chain Monte Carlo. And uh, this is a sampling method. Uh, but before we get to MCMC, -MC, uh, maybe it's worth talking about what these two terms mean uh, se separately. So a Markov chain uh, is a sequence of events that is memoryless in the sense that it only depends on the most recent state. So a great example of this is uh, called the drunkard's walk, where uh, you've got a drunk person and uh, the direction that they take is random, but it does depend on where they are standing at that, that step just before. So in that way, there's kind of a traceable uh, chain of uh, uh, that you can see how that person ended up, but it only has uh, the, it has some sort of a step-by-step um, -step memory. And a uh, Monte Carlo simulation is uh, a, the idea that you can have uh, random inputs uh, or variables that you model uh, as random inputs, and you can run repeat simulation. So imagine each input being a dice, uh, and you can see how all the dice adds up. And by looking at the aggregate results over many simulations, you can actually see how the inputs have an influence on the total results or an output. So um, there was a video that I put out sometime recently uh, on this very topic uh, that um, I will also put a link down below that you can watch. Now, uh, combining these two ideas together, uh, you get this uh, Markov chain Monte Carlo sampling. And uh, what it does is it kind of combines the two ideas where you break down probabilities that are complex into sort of smaller components and you sample from those smaller components and you use the Markov chain property uh, to uh, compare and trace uh, the uh, best shape that explains the observed data that you see. Uh, it, that sounds a bit cryptic. Uh, I don't blame you. Uh, it does take a bit of time to wrap your head around, uh, but graphically, to get an intuition for it, it's a bit like you've got this uh, distribution that you don't know, and you. Uh, it sounds crazy, but this is how it works. Uh, you uh, make an assumption on a distribution, and you pick the first point randomly, and then uh, you move the point uh, also in a random fashion, and then you have a criteria of whether or not you accept or reject the next point based on the distribution, uh, sorry, the observed data that you see. And if you do this long enough, eventually you will be able to recreate the uh, distribution that you're interested in. Um, and this is really the, uh, the underpinning of how Pi MC marketing works where uh, if you remember in the last video, we talked about how the beta geometric non-binomial distribution uh, itself uh, has this kind of very complex uh, interactions where uh, if you're trying to solve it in Pi MC marketing, uh, what it does is uh, you fit the data uh, and you can see that uh, they are uh, in this case, the default of four different chains. So this is the Markov chain and 2000 draws. So this is like the Monte Carlo iteration. So you're doing it 2000 times. And uh, this information is aggregated in uh, PyMC into what is called an inference data object that you can actually interrogate and go look where you can see that uh, these are the four different chains. And this is the aggregate result uh, that tells you that the variable you're interested in uh, called A as part of the BG and BD uh, has this kind of a spread. Um, so this is the second building block. Now, the final piece that pulls it all together is uh, something called a Bayesian hierarchical model. Now, uh, what that means essentially is that rather than just have a uh, complicated uh, distribution, 
uh, Pi MC marketing is able to uh, reflect uh, models at a layered manner. And this is a perfect fit for buy till you die uh, modeling, because if you recall from the last video, buy till you die modeling assumes that there is like a uh, individual customer level variability, and then there's a population level variability. And uh, in that way, you, you get the overall output, but they actually two different distributions or two layers of distributions that are working in tandem. Now, uh, a Bayesian hierarchical model is nothing more than a representation of that. Uh, and the uh, PyMC marketing uh, library is able to use that MCMC sampling approach to solve uh, variables in both the layers, not just uh, the all of it at once, but actually to split it up between the customer layer and the population layer. Um, so I hope that uh, this has been something that's been interesting. And uh, I do know that it's uh, a bit on the uh, um, statistically dense side, but uh, I enjoy these kind of things and uh, I hope you found it uh, useful. Um, and I will see you in the next video that is coming up where we will actually get into the Python code along. So um, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and catch you soon. Bye.